What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal walkthrough. Okay, it is finally time to take on the next gym leader. Yes, the Mahogany Town gym leader, or city, town, city? Let me see. I got these things all wrong. They all look like towns. Mahogany Town gym. The leader, Price. The ice type trainer that will make you feel the price. Or the teacher of the winter's heart niche. Well, well that's cool. Well, in our last episode, we managed to stop Team Rocket and their haywire signal and all that fun stuff. And now, I guess it's finally time to take on the gym right here. This will be our seventh gym badge. And from the sign right there, yes, he is an Ice type Pokemon trainer. So we're gonna go, we're gonna start off with Cinder. Maybe include some of our other Pokemon here too, because some of these Pokemon use Pokemon that are like what Water type, and also use Ice type moves. I don't know. All right, let's go ahead. Price is a veteran who trained Pokemon for 50 years. He said to be good at freezing po opponents with ice or ice type moves. That means you have you should melt them with your burning ambition. Okay, that's uh, all right. Whatever. I that's I, I I don't I don't care. I yeah. Okay. Um. Let's go ahead and take on this guy right here. Let's go to the left side. I'll freeze your Pokemon so you can't do a thing. Ha ha ha. Oh, we're gonna be taking on a band of Sub Zeros right here. And here we have Border Ronald. And he's coming out with his seal. Well, like I said, there's a lot of Pokemon trainers in here that like to use water type Pokemon for ice type Pokemon. I'm going to dig because I don't want to get hit by a water type of attack. Nope, he's going with the uh, headbutt. But here we go with a dig. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Critical hit. Eat it. Just eat it. And Kid Thunder, of course, I gave him the experience here. So I'm gonna switch it up right here with Kid Thunder because we're going up against a Dugong right here. There we go, Dugong Gong Gong. You can't beat me, Dugong. You will not defeat me, Dugong. Eat Thunder. Or eat the Thunder Pig, a punch. And, oh, wow. I was gonna say, just like that, it's, it fainted, but no, it got paralyzed. Wow. Wow, the computer's gotten more paralyzed than I have. That is a huge plus for me because I hate being paralyzed. Let's go with Dizzy Punch. That's right, Dizzy Punch. How you like that? You don't like that. Yeah. And look at that. Kid Thunder number, or level 32. And more. He's getting more experience points. Or she. She. And this guy's coming out with more uh, seals. So I'm gonna dish out with a thunder punch. Yeah, these Pokemon are catching these hands right now. Oh yeah, bye bye. Super super effective. And just like that, we defeat everybody right here. Not everybody, but we just defeat this guy right here. Darn, I couldn't do a thing. That's right, don't do a thing. All right, that's one guy down, and let's take on this lady. I'm assuming she's gonna use the same Pokemon as that guy. Let's go with Kit Thunder. Kit Thunder, bring it. Check out my parallel turn. Okay, all right, whatever. And here we have Skier Clarissa coming out to fight with a Dugong Gong Gong. Oh, she's starting out with the strongest Pokemon first. That's good. I like that. But unfortunately for you, you don't have Thunder Punch, like this guy. Yeah, look at that. Oh, nearly makes him faint. But there's that headbutt attack. A little strong, but it won't mess with me. Finishing off with the Dizzy Punch. Oh yeah. And there goes Dugong Gong. Kid Thunder growing, growing and growing. Clarissa's done. No, you made me wipe out. That is true. Now, if you can see right here, there's a, well, there, there's ice with, uh, well, small patches where you can't, well, will, will you stand still? Well, the slipping floor. This guy is like, this gym has a slipping floor. It's fine, isn't it? But hey, we're not playing games here. Okay, whatever. So the slipping floor will actually lead you to the gym leader. It's pretty typical for any kind of ice type Pokemon trainer out here. And wow, he's coming out with a swine up. So now we really have to we really have to use a fire type Pokemon right here because swine up is also a ground type Pokemon. 
Let's switch it to... Uh, you know what? Let's switch it to... Lucky. Because it's also weak against Water-type Pokemon for some reason. I think it's a Rock Slash Ice-type Pokemon. I could be wrong. Here we go. Surf Attack. Oh, yeah. Yep. It is a Rock-type Pokemon. And there goes Swineb. Defeated. Oh, yeah. Kit Thunder. Gaining some experience points. And just where he's coming out with another Swineb right here. So I expect all these kinds of Pokemon to come out right here. Swineb, of course, is very slow. So just be aware of that. Lucky. is also a lucky uh, SOB because it didn't get hit at all. And nearly makes this Pokemon faint, but it used Endure. And let's finish it off with the ground attack right here. Yeah. Didn't like that, huh? Not only can't you see, but you just fainted. Hell yeah. Border Brad it was defeated. Do you see how serious we are? No. No, I don't. Okay, let me... Okay, now I really have to start with Cinder. Or either that or somebody's gonna screw around with me. Let's see what he has to say. This gym is great. I love boarding with my Pokemon. Great. Alright, we're gonna go here, here, and here to take on this pretty little lady right here. To get to Price, our gym leader, you need to think before you think. You skate. It's a good, uh, it's a good saying right there. Alright, here we have another skier. Her name's Roxanne, and she wants the battle using Jinx. Okay, so I, I guessed correctly. Alright. See how you'll feel with the power of Cinder. Here we go. Fire punch. Oh yeah, she's not loving it. And that's the end of that. Bye bye, Jinx. Oh yeah. And Kid Thunder grows to level 33. Well, look at that. And that's it. That's the end of that, Roxanne. I wouldn't lose to you in skiing. That is a lie because I also know how to ski. Fun fact about Draven. I know how to ski. All right, let's go up top. Nothing up there. Let's go to the side. Oh, go right here. Go right here. Talk to this guy. I know Price's secret. What, uh, he's old? He's like seven years old? Old as dirt? And here we have dirt, or <laughs> Border Douglas. And uh, I don't know about Cinder, you, uh, I can go with Dig. That way I won't get hit with any kind of water type attack. And uh, you want to use a tackle, but here we go with the Dig. And that wasn't enough right there. The guy's going to be withdrawing. Just heightening up that defense. Let's go again with another dig. Oh. Look at that. It's just... It's... Wow, it's just heightening up its defense right here. And it won't let me win. Okay. Listen here. Here's a fire punch. Yeah. Didn't like that, huh? For the win! And, uh, Kid Thunder. Being Kid Thunder as he is, and he's gonna come out with a Cloyster. I got the perfect Pokemon for you, homeboy. Kid Thunder. Wow, this Cloyster is like purple. Super purple. Alright. Let's get some Thunder Punches going in. Wow, he's using Protect before I could even hit it. So that attack won't, won't hit at all. Come on, one more. That's right. And bye bye, bye bye, Cloyster. Bye bye. Yeah. And <laughs> six. That's a that's a lot of extra points right there. You know what? I'm gonna stick with Kid Thunder right here. And uh, I'm just gonna do this. Thunder Punch. Yeah. And that's the end of that story for a shelter. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> you gotta love that experience shit right there. And this guy's like, okay, I'll tell you Price's secret. All right, you mother grabber, what do you have to say? The secret behind Price's power. He meditates under waterfalls daily to strengthen his mind and body. Okay, I thought you were gonna say something else, but you just totally wasted my time. All right, we have to get to Price. How do we do it? I believe you have to do this somehow, I don't know. Um. Hmm. 
Okay. I think I know how. I'm just, like, not thinking correctly right now. Alright. Okay. Wrong way. Wrong way. Here. 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 And... Plah. Okay, so I messed up. Wonder... Hmm. Okay, let's go up here. Let's go right here. Down here. Side here. Here, here. Wow, I just messed up completely. Wow. It's been a while, guys. It has been a while since I've actually played this game. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna have to go down. Right here. There we go. And voila! We are in front of Price. The Ice Type Gym Leader. And, of course, he is old. Old as dirt. But don't tell him that because he'll freeze you to death. And you don't want that. So what I'm going to do right now is my best... Well, I'm going to be looking at Bulbapedia right now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, you know what? I'm going to stick with Cinder right here. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Cinder. Nah, you know what? Let's go. Let's start it off. I know that uh, the Kit Thunder could do something about this, but I'm going to go with Teddy right here. So here we go. Pokemon have many experiences in their lives, just like we do. I, too, have seen and suffered much in my life. Since I am your elder, let me show you what I mean. I have been with Pokemon since before you were born. I do not lose easily. I, Price, the Winter Trainer, shall demonstrate my power. Bring it on. Just try not to break your hip, homeboy. Here we go. Another gym battle, and it's against Price, the Ice Type Gym Leader. And here he comes out with a seal. All right, bring it on, mother sucker. Let's go. So, going into our next screen right here, Price does have three Pokemon, all Ice Type Pokemon, but do be aware that two of these Pokemon are also Water Type Pokemon. So it's a good idea to use Electric-type Pokemon. The way to defeat an Ice-type Pokemon, Fire Pokemon. That's right, Fire Pokemon. But if you can also see that one of his Pokemon is Ground-type Pokemon, you're going to need a Water-type Pokemon. So just just be just be creative with the Pokemon that you're using right here. So he has a Seal and a Dugong. Both of them have Headbutt, Icy Wind, Aurora Beam, and Rest. While his Pile of Swine is at level 31, has Icy Wind, Fury Attack, Mist, and Blizzard. Again, be creative with the Pokemon that you have. Now, going back here, boom! Let's do it. Rollout attack. You know what? I'm just going to beat him with a rollout attack for every single one of the Pokemon that he has. But here's the thing. Icy Wind does slow you down just a little bit. And that... Wow. Never mind. So, you, as you can see, it does slow us down a little bit. And it might have slowed down my rollout. And now my... Wow. Now I'm losing attack right here. This guy is out for vengeance. And there we go. Finishing off that seal. Oh, yeah. Kid Thunder being Kid Thunder. And he's going to come out with his dugong. I'm going to stick by with Teddy right here. I bet I can beat this dugong. He's like, hi. Hello. Strength attack for the win. Oh, yeah. And that doesn't defeat him. But here we go again with another Aurora Beam. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Okay, so let's go with the rollout and ooh, my speed is low and this guy is just like hitting me with everything he's got. Rollout attack. Oh yeah. Did not know that was a Oh yeah, you can use rollout too. Rock type Pokemon, I guess, are better than ice types? Could be wrong. And there we go again. Rollout attack. Super powerful. Critical hit. Eat it. And Teddy, you know, being Teddy, being cool. And Leader Price is about to come out with his pile of swine. I'm going to take this time to use Teddy for this guy. Hopefully it maxes out with his rollout attack. And here we go, another rollout attack. And that took a lot. And here comes that blizzard attack that we've been fearing. So you've got to be aware that that is one powerful move. But it's very inaccurate. I just got the full blunt of it, or brunt, and... We gotta move with Cinder right here. That's right, Cinder. Cinder, Flame Wheel. Oh yeah. 
Time to beat you like you've never beaten before. Sounds powerful. Defeated. And would you look at that? Easy. So we've defeated Leader Price just like that. Huh. I am impressed. By your prowess. With your strong will, I know you will overcome all of life's obstacles. You are worthy of this badge. Alrighty, alrighty. Look at that, badge number seven. Cool, 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 cool. That badge will raise your special stats of Pokemon and also lets you use Whirlpool outside of battle. And this, this is a gift from me, TM16. That we all know what this one is. That's right, it's Icy Wind. It inflicts damage and it lowers speed. It demonstrates the harshest of winter. Good, good, good! When when the ice and snow melts, spring arrives. You know, you and your Pokemon will be together for the many years to come. Cherish your time together. Wow, he kind of sounds like he's dying. I really hope he doesn't die. He's a pretty cool dude. Price is something, but you're something else. That was a hot battle. That bridge... A generation of gap. Wow, okay. I don't know. Okay, so we're done right here. Now, after defeating your... After defeating this... Uh, whichever seventh po gym leader you've defeated, you know... Okay, let me let me reword this again. After the seventh gym badge, or gym battle, doesn't matter if it's Price or J Jasmine, this will happen. Phone call. Draven, how are things going? I called because if something weird is happening with the radio broadcast. They were talking about Team Rocket. Draven, do you know anything about it? Maybe Team Rocket has returned. No, that just can't be true. Sorry to bug you about that. Hmm, Team Rocket, we just beat them. Again, it doesn't matter which one is your 7th badge or your 7th gym battle, but this will happen and you just gotta check your Poke Gear. Go into the radio station and as you can see, Yep, every single radio station has been taken care of. It has been taken over by Team Rocket. So I think we all know what our next mission is, right? Oh, jeez. Okay, so... I think we already know what, what, what we have to do. So thank you guys for watching. Another episode will be coming out pretty soon here. This time, we're going to be taking on some Team Rocket members, making sure that, you know, they know where their, where their place is. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back in just a little bit. See you guys.